BIM helps in achieving this sort of certification system, uh, certification also. Because the BIM can analyze the situation and adapt to the required changes and it's a flexible situation. According to the sustainability requirement, it can adapt itself. Therefore, it serves the purposes of building sustainability and climate protection. Therefore, a building which utilizes a properly designed and well-functioning BIM will align with the requirement of this uh, building certification systems. Therefore, they will, these sort of buildings will achieve high ratings in certification. There are in uh, BI, development of BIM, there are a lot of software tools available, mainly modeling tools and analysis tools. And there, is, uh, there are a lot of uh, commercial uh, software available in the market, but when selecting the appropriate software for the designing and analysis of the project, functionality characteristics as well as the interoperability between different software used have to be considered. You can see this shows during the uh, building life cycle analysis, different stakeholders can use, utilize different sort of software in order to arrive at optimum building design from architect, then civil engineers, uh, civil and structural engineers, then MEP system engineers, to builders and subcontractors and facility managers, to owners. There are these different stakeholders can utilize different software in order to uh, identify whether their requirements are satisfied by the building project. There are a lot of products available, but we have to consider the uh, whether they uh, match with each other in selecting appropriate software tools. For example, in, uh, uh, for architects, there are software like Revit Architecture in Civil Engineers, Civil, CD, uh, Civil 3D, uh, then Revit MEP, and uh, Navis work for the reviewing of the uh, system. Uh, there are all sort of software available for different stages of the project. And uh, the modeling tools develops the basic models uh, and there are main two sorts of modeling tools, surface tools and um, uh, solid tools. And uh, the modeling software, there are a lot of uh, different numbers of modeling software, but these are the we, these are some of them, Google SketchUp, Energy Plus, Archicad, Revit Architecture, Tetla, like that. There are a lot of software for the requirements. Then you can see a project developed by Google SketchUp, a surface model. Then these sort of, uh, these different um, uh, software can be selected to serve the particular purpose of the stakeholders. Then for model analysis, there are two types of analysis, quantitative as well as qualitative model analysis. Uh, you can use quantitative, qualitative analysis for communication and marketing, then to uh, check the constructability and system coordination and clash detection as well as energy analysis of the building. And also quantitative analysis uh, concerned with taking quantities, scheduling, costing, budgeting, uh, they, are, they are a quantitative analysis related to BIA. You can see this is a linking between a Tecla model, which is a structural uh, software for modeling with a scheduling software like MS Project. Then this is the application of clash, clash detection. You can see how different systems integrate with each other and identify clashes between them if they are up. And there are different sort of energy analysis that can be used in BIM. Then 
in BIA models, interoperability is very important. All the software tools should match together and should be able to operate together. So uh, BIM is a new trend for the construction industry. It will revolutionize the construction industry, but in, uh, at present in Sri Lanka, we are not much using BIM concept, but it will generate very uh, many advantages if applied in sustainability, also reducing the cost, uh, improving communication between stakeholders, preventing conflicts. There are all sort of advantages we can arrive, uh, achieve from using building information modeling. So this study is an initial step towards developing a building information model for sample building in Sri Lankan context. It's done as an initial part, the literature survey part of the study. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Ms. Kumaranayaka. We had four very good, 